Good evening, good evening, good evening everybody. How are you this fine, fine evening? It is Thursday evening, ready ahead for the long Easter weekend coming up. So, I'm going to stream tonight and have a look at what we can do. Hey Emery, how are you? Thanks ever so much for stopping by. And Hieronymus, thank you both for the... And Z, thank you all for the quick jumping into the stream. Welcome one and all. I hope you're doing well this fine Thursday. How have you been? Cat commercial? <laughs> okay, Custic. I'll wait for you to come in. That's an interesting choice, though. Hello, hello. How are you? Right. Okay, I'm going to go and start on the mailbox first. And have a look. So, how are we doing today? Got some mixed buyers. Hey, uh... Farm Dan, thank you for stopping by the stream. Welcome on board. Good to have your company tonight. We are lo currently looking at 436 items in the mail. So I'm assuming that's going to be a whole load of expires. So we need to sort that out first. Leveling a couple of alts today, Hieronymus. Excellent. Um, are these going to be for professions or just trying them out? I think, yeah, everything's expiring, so we do need to sort these out. I think we could do with clearing a little bit of space in this bag. There we go. Much better tartar, probably. I would hope so. I hope that means some sales of bear tartar would be nice. But we're going to head on over to the guild bank, see if we've got any space. There's a few slots there. Not a lot. There's the bear tata. This needs to go to Irfan, really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this across to him. You can do profession section. Need to branch out. That's a very good idea, Hermes. I'm going to be doing similar myself once I'm done with um, flying. Um, right. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up with bear tata, and then we're going to send that to Irfan. And I'm going to dump a load of other stuff into the guild bank that I'm not currently using. I think that's going to work. Uh, good evening, fucker duck. How are you tonight? I hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining the stream tonight. We're currently just doing a little bit of organisation because we need to manage our space a little bit better. What do we need? That should be those full. And then what we're going to do is some of this stuff can go. So that can go, that can go, that can go. And prepared ingredients. We, we need the eggs for Nomi. The rest is going to go into the bank. I like to keep the sumptuous fur and the cloth because I use those. And the rest I'm going to just dump in here for now. Musk and butter are doing well. About to finish your work shift, then home to play with TSM4. Excellent. That sounds a great way to spend your evening. Have you recently just got gotten TSM4, or um, have you had it a while? Um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of these. Um, I do have those in another... Oh, that's soul bound. Can't do that. I do have those in another area. I could do with just reorganising my bank. I need to keep those. Temporal crystals I'll keep, the dream shards I'll get rid of, and then the walls of drain or bits I'll get rid of. Probably don't need all that Gorgrund, so let's get rid of... Actually no, let's keep that. I keep the Drainic Dust, keep the Arcana, get rid of the Starflower. Had, had it for a while, but finally switched to it yesterday. So much faster to load in 3 now. Interesting. I haven't used 3 in a long while, so I've not um, been able to compare, but yeah, it it is pretty good. It's slow for me, but I think that's down to my setup more than anything else. These consum consumables, why that is at 5,000, I do not know. Uh, Labour cube ribs, slightly burnt food we can sell. These things we could probably do with just organising a little bit. Let's leave those for now because we have got some space. Right, so the bag is now looking a bit better. 
So we'll head back to the mailing operation and we will send that bear tartar to Erfan because he's got the space. Need some tea, tea yourself. Excellent, Emery. Sounds like a fine idea. Um, so we will do um, TSM groups. Get the bags open. Now our bear tartar should automatically send to Erfan. You're through role playing right now. Okay. Is that you done for the day? All right, that's done. Now we have a nice empty slot of bags, which is good. Ah, hello, Joeheb, how are you? Thanks for stopping by tonight. I'm just double checking that I've not missed anyone. Looks like we're okay, there we go. Right, so, start off with opening the expires. Let's start with those. Let's see how we get on with those first. You're not done, RP. I thought you were done for tonight. That was the thing. Of course, you. Of course, you're not done. Done forever. Of course not. I wasn't sure whether you meant you had done an event or something like that tonight, and you were done with that for the night. Happy opening day to all the US viewers. Opening day? What's in that? Oh, you're still in the event. Ah, okay. <laughs> now I'm with you. Um, why haven't these come in? That looks a bit weird. Let's try that again. B expires. There we are, coming through. There we go. Ah, okay, I misread. There we go. I'm with you now. He wrote though, not through. There we go. Ah, baseball. Ah, right, do you have? I see. Okay, interesting one. I don't know a lot about baseball. Other than um, many years ago, I did a job for a company. Um, and the job was to do... Now, why are these in TSM? Was to do all the baseball stadiums in 3D for the MLB um, mobile app that showed statistics. And my job was to recreate all the stadiums in 3D. And as someone who doesn't, um, doesn't play baseball or know anything about it, that was quite interesting. Right, let's post all this lot up. Um, that's all selected, and run post scan. Ah, good evening, Pointy Gnome. How are you tonight? I hope you're doing okay. Um, that's all in there. Yeah, it was it was a fun project, definitely. Really enjoyed that one. It had to be like super super low polygon, obviously, because it was. A lot many years ago, but it was fun. Doing well, really need a thousand pet charms for the mirror that turns your pet into a mini version of yourself. I didn't even know that was a thing, pointy them. That sounds brilliant. So you have a little mini me running around, and considering you're a gnome anyway, it'll be a mini mini me. Loads of stuff here coming on. More we'll mix of different things. Lavish feasts going on. That's good. Hey, Killer Cowboy, how are you? How are you feeling? I hope you're uh, slowly recovering. There we go. Post 95. Let's go with that. I then use it on Egbert the pet. It's a pet that runs around all over the place. <laughs> Sounds like you got a plan then. You're better today, excellent, good to hear. Are you supposed to be enjoying clubbing baby seals this much? In-game, don't get scared. No, 
Um, it depends, really. I mean, if you if you go through and think about it from what you're getting from it and don't think of them as baby seals, then are you enjoying the game? Then that's what the game mechanics are asking you to do. Well, then that's fine. Uh, no, I meant bags, not map. There we go. Hex buyers. Start with another load. Hey, Sephorium, how are you? Thanks for stopping by the stream. How goes your sales these days? Right, loads and loads of expires. Everything's coming off and then everything's going back on. With any luck. Run post scan. Another 48 pages. No luck on the Emerald Whelpling yet. Oh, they're good. Excellent. Good to hear. Hey, Haggis Turtle, how are you? Day 5, over 200 runs of cell. of Sunwell. Ah. Sounds pretty good. How are you getting on with that, Haggis Turtle? Um, doing all right, thank you, Sephorium. Um, sales I haven't checked yet, but we're currently sat at. 822,000 so I'm quite pleased with that considering we did spend quite a lot a little while ago so it's nice to get close to that 1 million again you have like 1% of your attention today well 1% is is absolutely fine with me Costa I'm, I'm just happy that you're, you're in the stream that's uh, for me a bonus Try to sell your pets on another high pop realm and start flipping mats there. Ooh, not a bad idea, Emery. I do actually have a character on Argent Dawn, so I could possibly try that one. Uh, you're farming a recipe, so up to about 60 recipes to sell, and you've ended every other recipe that drops, so frustrating. Uh, what about the quest where you have to mimic to kill the leader of Booty Bay? Never heard of that one. That sounds interesting. Hello, Bullywoof and Sleepy. Thank you both for stopping by. How are you doing tonight? A load more expires to take off. This is when all my 48 hour auctions from Tuesday have expired now. So this is why I'm pretty much restocking everything. For vegans or just animal lovers, that quest is more than horrible, is it? Well, it doesn't sound promising. I do, I do sometimes think, you know, with the ethics of some of them, that you know, did did they need to make the quest like that? And would you, and would you decline the quest on moral grounds? I mean, that's kind of like a, a personal question, really. It all depends on whether you detach what's happening in the game with your own, with, with your own values. Just came on, so you need to relist everything. Sounds like me, Bullywoof. That's exactly what I'm doing at the moment. Getting a lot of chilled meat. That's uh, that's useful for the um, Dalaran cooking quests. Um, but it is pretty cheap. Um, I've not seen it for you know any more than the gold on my server. Trying to level monks through Walls of Draenor. Oh, I thought that would be quite good fun, Sleepy. The win of the day was selling Steelbound Harness for 180k. Ooh, that sounds nice, um, Haggis. I like the sound of that one. That's all those done. Don't know what the Steelbound Harn... <coughs> excuse me, Steelbound Harness is, but... It does sound good. Um, Lavish is on. Pink Wage Mage Weave... Yep, yeah, a load of different bits. Okay, let's get another load on. There we go. Had to get the Guildmaster and Raidley to shut up. <laughs> no problem, Cossack. Um You're not going to buy if you can farm it easy. 
just got 89 in one beach clear. Well, that's that's easy enough. I'm I'm a little bit like that. See, even though it's going to take me time, I do like the idea of you know going and getting stuff yourself, even though it's not the most time efficient way of doing things. Sometimes with the opportunity cost, it's still um, a fun thing to do every now and again. For me, it was selling a vendor bought 50 silver recipe for 350 gold. That's nice. Definitely good. Um, everything in wood has so much HP since the leveling changes. Oh, has it? Okay. We've been doing doing it dungeons instead. Oh, I didn't. I haven't gone through um, mop since the leveling changes. Ah, oh, hello, Jack and Quiglius. Thank you both for stopping by. I hope you're both doing well. How are your Thursdays? I hope you're all set for the Easter weekend. If you celebrate that Easter, that is. It's kind of like a, a default holiday here in the UK. Doing fine, excellent, good to hear, Jack. Um, do you have a problem? Maybe I can think with you. No problem, Jack. We've got the communal mind of not just me, but the whole of chat, so I'm sure we could bang heads together. And hello, Benedict. Thank you for stopping by. Doing well, just farming and playing the auction house a bit. Sounds like a lovely evening, uh, Quiglius. Pretty much matches my own, um, except I'm not doing so much farming. I'm just relisting at the moment. So I'm going to go through all of that. Um, that's the usual. Okay. Not had any enchants coming up yet, so I have to double check on those. Maybe they're in the last batch. More expires. Let's pick all those up. Sometimes I wish there was an option to um, post something for a week rather than 48 hours. Then I can put slow moving things on for a week and just leave it. Or the other thing is to rotate these so you're not doing it all in one go. That would be another way of um, of managing a lot of uh, relists in one go. There we are. Run another post scan. Nice to sell medallions of the Legion for 10k each. That's pretty cool. Um, Bully Wolf, I, I, I used mine up in the end. But yeah, they are pretty good. I was tempted myself. Um, I would have bought one. Well, there's Merlin's robe, not sold yet. I haven't put that other. Th I haven't tried that other thing you pointed out. Uh, pointy name. Hey, Clarky, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Um, what else have we got? Save your si slippers, soul fibril, storm gauntlets for ten thousand. That's an interesting one. Um, you snipe. A couple of BOEs that are really insane cheap and only one or two are on the auction house. Now here's the thing, you don't want to post them too high on the auction house otherwise they'll sell way too slow. On the other hand, you don't want to sell too cheap as well. Yes, good point. Could you maybe, um, if there's only a few of them, could you maybe push up the auction house um, price with the DB market. Oh, thank you for the host, uh, Clarky. Very kind of you. Um, could you use DB market and maybe help push the price up a little bit, and then after a week or two, maybe then cut it manually lower, and then see how that goes. Oh, first sales coming in now. Let's take the expires. Now the bear tartar we're actually going to send to Irfan. Irfan's going to do the bear tartar from now on. Because I've got so much of it. So in terms of a string, I think I'd probably be looking at... Um, 
there are, if there's other, another one, you snipe them on region price because you're on a low pop. Okay, so they're already high. So maybe not use the DB market then. Um, um, sell them as fast as you can because that market's about to go full free fall. Oh, that's a good point, Sephorium. Yeah, because of um, the fact that um, with the new expansion coming out, here comes some more expires. I'll take those. And people are all going to be leveling up again. So, it, yeah, I can imagine things are going to take a little bit of a change. I wonder if you could put them up at something like, you know, 70% DB market, depending on what the, the actual numbers are, and try and get a quick sale out of them. That might be useful. Uh, mail selected groups. Send those over to Irfan. Everyone's going to be dumping a lot of stuff so they want uh, fast gold before BFA. Yes, that's going to be another interesting part of it, isn't it? Uh, what else? We've got more expires. Okay. So demand will drop, supply will increase, uh, prices will soon crash. Yeah, I've never really been in a, um, a market since this. I think you're doing a 500% average buy, but there is so much difference in prices. Well, at least 500% um, average buy would give you a profit, wouldn't wouldn't it? I will outbid on that one, so we can close that. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be something bespoke, I imagine, if it's only a couple of items. Already posting for them 65% at min. Okay, that would sound reasonable. The only thing is, if it depends on how quickly you want to sell them, because obviously if there's one or two already on the auction house, they're going to undercut those ones. Um, unless you set your undercut amount to be a large figure to try and sort of um, tempt someone to go under it by a large amount, you could maybe drop the... I don't know what sort of numbers you're looking at, but you could maybe change your undercut amount to be you know, a hundred gold or a thousand gold, depending on what the margins are. That could be a way of maybe tempting some people. So they're like a hundred gold bought, and they have a region price of something like ten k. All right, so it's a fair, it's a fair difference then. Then I'd maybe look at um, Sometimes of 10k, so maybe I would look at maybe trying to shift shift something 5k. So I would possibly put up my um, my price at sort of 50% DB market, and lots that aren't even aren't on the auction house. So the ones that aren't on the auction house, I'd maybe put, you know, try and get at least a decent, maybe catch someone else's sniper settings would be what you'd want to do. Um, last night you got Nightwalker armor fairly cheap. I'm going to give it a week to sell high, otherwise it'll drop really low and make a fast profit. That sounds like a good plan, Quiglius. Try it high. If it doesn't bite, then you know what you can do. Then is just shift it lower. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Um, we did sell some bear tartar and some there, some enchants, another shirt, and hexweave bag. 27,000, okay, that's good. Happy with that. Um, rather than send this lot, I think I'm going to post it on as Samadan, seeing as I'm here and I'm about to do some posting. So I'll do that. Um, run post scan, there we go. Um, so people are still buying them. Um, the sub 10k ones for leveling alts faster. Hmm. Okay, so they do vary quite a bit. Maybe, Jack, you could 
you could um, further subdivide your groups into sort of rough price brackets and deal with them almost manually with a price. If you've got like some 5k ones, some 10k ones and some 25k ones, maybe you could look at that as rough brackets and then set some manual prices for them. That could be a way of doing it. I mean subgroups, yeah. Basically um, group make little um, subgroups depending on the brackets of the prices. Then you could maybe sort of um, play around with the prices and see what kind of things sell. Uh, right, we need to get these enchants on. And let's get this... Ooh, Bear Tartar's up at 12 gold, so... Ooh, posting at normal price means that there's no Bear Tartar's on. So we need to put these on. Let's get them on. Ready for the weekend. We need as much as we can on. So I'll get Urfan to do the rest when I swap over to him. There you go, that's done. My auctions, all, some of the stuff's going to expire in a minute, so let's take the peppers off. And then let's take these off. And these ones. There we go. Uh, good afternoon, Darkshore Capital. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Uh, right, take these. Put them back on. That's uh, all of them. And then back on. I'll go left. And auctioning post scan. What have we got? Uh, Shadowy mask. That's got. That's a nice price. Uh, Seven thousand. What's the normal? Uh, my sell average is four thousand eight hundred. So selling some for seven thousand would be really nice. Let's try it. There we go. Uh, River songs on accuracy, robe of intellect, Ceramite stuff and turf. Okay, um, so before we go and do a restocks, give TSM a chance to have a look at the auctions. We'll do a little bit of shopping for. Let's look at the good stuff. Just have a quick check, see if there's anything that's on at a bargain. Large brilliant shards are uh, ridiculously cheap as always and everything else ooh look at those spirits of harmony 339 gold but the moat of harmony is 18 gold which is a bit of a difference so I'll be buying the moats because 10 moats makes one spirit so that's 180 gold and it's cheaper than I've been buying them for Let's have a look at this. Oh, there's only there's only four at 18 gold. So I'll buy three of them. Yeah, that is that is pretty high. Um, they're not normally that high. That's 155 percent. The region market average is 371. My average purchase price is actually 218. So well, that's interesting. I'll buy those. Oh, internal auction error. Okay, we're probably phased. So what I'll do then is get on with my restocks. Um, or we could do with checking on the shelter eye silk before I get stuck into that. Because I could do with some cheap. Oh, five gold forty-four. I like the sound of that. It's two hundred of that. Buy that. And then, yeah, I'm going to buy the 15, and I'm going to buy the 20 of 10. This is good. We want silk at this price. In fact, they're all good quantities here. So I'm going to buy everything up to that one of three. 
And then I'll leave the 1 of 3 on. No, we want the 8 of 50. Take those. Buy all the silks. And that. And then the 33. We'll leave that. And then I'm going to go up to 560. Well, there's 7 of 200 there at 565. I think I'll go up to there and then stop. Uh, 560, the 10 of 50. Take those. Uh, this is higher than my average, but um, I can always make use of this silk for braces because 565 gives me. Well, let's check what my average is once I've done it. There we go. Crazy high there, somewhere in the 140 range on your server. Wow, 140 is amazingly cheap. Compared to the region, definitely. How is my silk looking at the moment? So my silk average purchase price is at 549. So if I open all these up, what does my new average price come in at? Five four four five three four five four six. I'll wait for the other ones to come through. There's another three coming in. So we're looking at five five eight at the moment. I'm gonna pop some of these in my bank if I've got the space. Uh, on your realm you're lucky to find them for three hundred. If you want stacks of two hundred, it's often four hundred plus. Whoa. That's quite a lot. You need something? Yes, I need to clear out my bags. Let's get rid of those and put those on the auction house. They don't need to be there. Here's my reagent. Oh, I've got some silk in here already. Okay. So I was going to put some there, but I'll leave that. Let's um, pop some in here instead. Things I've got the space there and there. Okay, that's better. I'll pick up those last ones from the mail. I'm pretty sure you were hit with a crazy botting scandal, though. Oh, is that the one where people were reporting that they were getting um, temporarily banned from Blizzard, um, but then it got. Um, overturned fairly quickly, so I think people didn't have a, a problem. Yeah, what you were saying, um, Sleepy. Um, yeah, if you can't trust buying things off the auction house. Yeah, I think I think hopefully it was just a few one-offs and Blizzard will catch them. Oh, <laughs> look, I left my, my feather here. There we go. Um, so how are we looking? 200 there. Okay, that's reasonable. Yeah, the temporary bans um, did buy nearly enough to get banned, but yeah, scary stuff. It looks like they did um, overturn them fairly quickly, though, so if it is a thing that's happening, it looks like it can get resolved. Am I on low, medium, or high? I am on pretty much, I think it's a low server, um, quickly, so I don't know what the exact round pop is. I think some reports would call it maybe medium. But if you look at it on the Undermine Journal, it's definitely in the lower half. Oh, thank you, um, Sleepy, for the cheer. That's, uh, that's very kind of you. Yes, Easter weekend. Lots of sales, I hope. I'm not going to be on a lot tomorrow, um, but then we'll hopefully get some more. Hey, <laughs> and thank you, Jurhib, for, uh, for the cheer as well. Both of you, very kind. Now I can at least look at my, yeah, definitely, I think that deserves. Get some chef's hats and some thumbs up for that. Thank you both, very, it's raining cheers. Thank you both, it's very kind of you. Um, what am I doing, enchanting? Restock, what are you saying? Quite a lot of stuff, mainly because we need Arcana. And pointy gnomes, thank you ever so much. 
It's a cheer train. That's a difficult one to say. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do all of these, so let's do that and that. And that. Did you all aboard the cheer train? <laughs> That's fantastic. Thank you all for your support. Uh, I think that should now be red, although it's just not updating. Yeah, I think it probably is, which means we need to make a whole load of braces. As we've got the silk now, we'll make the braces and then we'll um, disenchant those and then we can make the rest of our enchants. We don't have to swap over to Earthen this time. We can do it all on Samadan with the tailoring. Once it loads up. Any way to make money with Noble Garden? It's the one holiday you've ignored. I have no idea, do you have, um, what is Noble Garden? Um, let's have a look, um, let's create these at the moment. If I open this up I might lose my um, tailoring so I'll have to leave it at the moment, I was going to look at the calendar. Uh, I just bought one of the mounts from that event, oh okay. The rabbit sells, pets sell well. Okay, it's the Easter event. Right, there we go. So you can get the rabbit pets and you get a mount. Okay. They sound good. Whether you can either get them for yourself or sell them on. Why isn't TSM destroying coming up? Dash TSM. Destroy. There it is. How are my bags doing? I want to make sure I've got enough space for everything. Yeah. It was a swift sprint strider. No idea. What is a, a swift sprint strider? Is it a bird or is it a. Um, sounds like it would be a bird. Mounts and rabbit pets, how did I not know about this? Alright, I'm going to wait for these bag slots to disappear. It's a horrible emu looking bird, oh okay. If it was horrible, why did you buy it? Or, you, or is it simply just another number in the collection number? Emo. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's a whole different kind of mount. An emo emu. <laughs> oh, you want to get the 250 mounts for the achievement? Okay, yeah, that would make more sense then. Right, I do have... I need to leave a couple of spaces for um, Leylight and Arcana. You have like 80 mounts, you feel so bad. <laughs> Don't worry, pointy name, I've got even less than that. There we go. Leave a couple. I think that should be enough for now. There we go. In fact, what have we got? Mounts. I have a grand total of 28. Include my brown horse, my chopper, my griffins. The lovely butt wings and the sky chaser. I like that one. And the rest are all griffins. Oh, I could got a, a drake. Yeah, I've got that. That's pretty good. Whoa! Quickly, thank you ever so much. That's a big old cheer. Thank you. I think that's you have put you straight at the top. That's a cheer train and a half. Thank you. Yeah. Thumbs up, dethroned. <laughs> Thank you all. Oh, hey, Blissfire, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. 
very generous, Quiglius. You have been with your donations and everything from earlier. I'll be ordering that uh, webcam uh, this weekend, so that's going to be uh, great fun when it arrives. Oh, and our first sale to celebrate Hungry Magister. Excellent. <laughs> There's a challenge that's been thrown down. Um, oh yeah, disenchanting, that's what we need to do. Yes, I'm going to get a, um, a better one, Sephorium, for my creative streams, because the um, the last one is was really um, low quality, and you couldn't see any of the detail whilst I was sketching, which is a real shame, because you couldn't see what it was like until the end. So I'm going to um, upgrade my webcam to a um, one of these ones, C920 ones that everyone uses, because mine's only like a C170. So it's like really, really old and cheap. So thanks to Quiglius, we're going to uh, boost up our our detail to a factor of 10, hopefully. This is going to be great fun once that arrives. Oh, you have that one somewhere in your closet. <laughs> I hear I hear everything on Reddit that it's, it's good, even for doing um, the sketching that I'm doing. So it should be nice and detailed. I have to wash my beard then if I use it on stream. <laughs> Good point. I have to brush out all the crumbs that you can't see. High def Sam. Yeah, will be. <laughs> Every single particle. Yeah, that might that might gross a few people out though. I won't get too close. It's only a little box in the corner when I'm doing the um when I've got the webcam on though. So that's thankfully not too not too horrendous there we are, just making sure I haven't missed anyone on the chat let's go up and back down there we go see all the food in his beard yeah I'll, I'll make sure I've got a oh yes I'll use it for regular streams as well um, pointy gnome um, definitely it will be um, it'll be swapped over and then I'll use one of these webcams for my second face cam because I need two cameras whilst I'm doing the sketching streams. But yeah, it's going to be going to be good. <laughs> then a giveaway if you if you guess what he ate based on what's in his beard. <laughs> Face cam and art cam. Yes, that's that's right. Although I think I set it up a bit wrong last time. I need to um, work on my positioning a bit better. Um, I might look to getting some um, like cheap tripods that I can mount the webcams on, and then I can position them. Not tripods. Um, you can use microphone boom arms, like I've got with my microphone here that Sephorium kindly helped donate towards. Um, that one. If you can get you can get cheaper versions of those that can mount a webcam onto, so you can position them a bit more easily. But it will mean I have like loads of boom arms sticking around everywhere. <laughs> so it's going to be a bit weird on my little um, mini desk in front of the TV. Hey, executioner, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, you should be disenchanting these bars in the background whilst I do my creative streams. That would be good if I was doing um, creative streams using the mouse, but because I'm using the pencil, I'd have to still somehow do some sort of keyboard mouse um, interaction. So it probably wouldn't quite work because I'd use CKS, which I haven't set up yet, but I would use it for something like that, I think. Doing great, some free days ahead. Yes, very good. Easter break. Um, um, oh, your bacon reset didn't work out. Oh dear. Um, oh, they've gone back down again. You've got loads of bacon though, haven't you? How much bacon have you got? Let's have a look. Um, slice of bacon. It's down to 68. How much did you buy them for? Ah, oh, hello, old man farmer. How are you? And let's do some more braces. 
whilst we're here. Yeah. Oh, running a little bit slow there. Hopefully that'll uh, lag back up. You got three thousand bacon. Well, I'm sure you'll uh, you'll um, sell those eventually. You bought them up to seventy-five. Oh, okay. But what was your average though? Because I know you got some of them really cheap. Uh, just do the sketching on a giant trackpad so your pencil strokes move the mouse. <laughs> you bought a thousand bacon for twenty-five gold. Wow, that's that's a bargain and a half cost. It. I love that one. Or eat the bacon. Yeah, you could do. I wish you could. I do love some bacon. Or the other thing, like you were saying, is to make feasts out of them. Now that you've got them, I'm sure those will at least sell for a little while longer. Oh, thank you, Quigglies, for the host as well. Thank you very much. Feeling the love tonight. Thank you all. Just wish people would buy your feasts. Oh, have they stopped um, buying them? Because I know you had a good a good run of sales the other week. Um, so I guess it's just a, ref a reflection of the market, depending on what people are doing. Hey, Fisig, how are you? Also happy you got the Vile today. Um, and yesterday got the Blue Buglance. Excellent. Congrats. Congratulations on those, getting the Vile. Uh, only glyphs work at the moment. Well, it's great that you've been able to diversify. Um, does my stream go up in ratings in Twitch's algorithms if you get hosted? I don't think so, Z. Um, it all comes down to the numbers, basically. Um, Twitch only lists them by your viewers' numbers, so that's kind of like the main the main thing, really. Um, so every every person that stops by and hangs out in the stream is a plus one. Because that's that's the best way to support me is just you know, adding a number to that viewer number and hanging out, um, is the best way really. Uh, feasts are good for raids, uh, but with less people raiding, demands reducing. Yes, and as Sephora says, the consumables will be heading down. Took you eight jars. Well, that's pretty good, um, Fisig. Um, and obliterum. Yes, obliterum will be on the way down. Somehow you can still buy gems. Our viewers got you, yeah. Mm. Uh, hit level 83 today, excellent. Excellent old man, it's getting there. Just just keep keep chipping away at it and it'll, um, and it'll get, uh, it'll get there, old man. Uh, yeah, definitely. Oh, hey, soft bun, how are you? Glad you managed to catch me a bit earlier in the stream tonight. So I'm on for at least another hour or so, so you've definitely got me for longer tonight. Um, make like, um, chuck and make like 50 to 100% profit. You sold a feast, excellent, for 6k total, excellent. That's nice. Yeah, I don't, uh, oh it is, it is Thursday, that's traditionally a raid night, isn't it? Um, I've been finding people have been buying up at the end of the night as well, once they've finished their raiding. That's another good um, a good time to have your feasts on. Because I'm not normally on early enough to catch people before they start raiding. I'm guessing they kind of start early evening-ish and go on till about midnight-ish. If I was a raiding person, that's probably what I would do but I don't know what the activity's like on my server for raiding. Just had um, awesome timing, finished up cooking dailies for the cocoa bean stack to make some cookies. And as you bought the sacks, uh, your current auction house stock got bought out. Brilliant. That's brilliant timing. Uh, feast and enchants for the new gear they got. Yes, yeah, getting some enchants on is also good, Hieronymus. Kind of stole an item to sell. Oh, did you see? Oh, yes, that was from um, Pointy Gnomes Cookies. Yeah, they're not, they're not selling. So another Cookie Monster. <laughs> yeah, they're just really not selling for me. But uh, I know Pointy Gnomes got great success with those. All right. 
this should get us at least at least a fair amount I'm getting some bloods as well which is good there's a couple in there and then we can get on with our enchanting after we've done this hey Prizro, how are you? thanks for stopping by doing very well here, thank you very much Thanks ever so much for stopping by the stream. You sold 1,498 per 20. Wow, that's pretty cool, Z. I like those numbers. You were doing them for like 499, weren't you, um, pointy gnomes? That's a whole thousand more. Um, flask and food will go back up closer to BOA because people will use them to level yes, until they can get hold of newer ones, won't they Fizzig? I can imagine they would I try not to guess too much about what the market's doing Kazakh is a bonkers server yeah, it's amazing how they're so different all the servers I couldn't try to up the price but wonder if people will complain not buy if you do that yeah, it depends, uh, point of name. Um, lots of gold makers are split on TSM 4 versus 3. What are my thoughts? Major pros on 4. Um, I would say um, the major pros for 4 is being able to reorganize groups um, and copy operations. It's just so much more intuitive. Um, so that's the major pro for that. The major pro for three is it's more complete. You've got um, smart crafts, you've got everything in there that you'd expect to be in there. Whereas TSM4 is missing a few features and obviously it's still in beta so it's got its bugs. So it's kind of, you know, it, it depends on what you're gonna use TSM4. For. for me, I dive straight in because I hadn't used three that much. Um, but I know a lot of people who have are, are set in their ways almost with three and wouldn't there's no point going to four yet because it's not fully functional do i play on eu or us i play on eu um prisro i'm on the shadow song server fairly confident plus and pots will remain profitable um up until the end of the expansion people are always raiding yes i imagine so dark sure um having a lot of luck with tasty cupcake too okay the northern eggs cost less than one gold each and selling them for 50 to 90. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to make some enchants now that I've got all those ley lights done. To finish off my restocks. So, what have we got? Um, expect a huge boost in prices for pots of flask when BFA hits. People were buying them up, um, making leveling a bit faster and easier. Yeah, that's what um, um, Fissig was saying. Sorry, I just had to scroll up to make sure I got the right person. Ah, right. Lay shatter. Let's do a load of lay shatters. Oh, you're also on EU uh, storm scale. Uh, I'm on uh, I'm on storm wind, so it's a slightly different one. Um, did I say storm scale? I meant storm wind. I forget which server I'm on now. Um, you got someone in your realm, uh, the lost mail. She was going, doing the doing the thirty mails in sixty seconds for two hours before she got it. Wow, excellent, Boyty. Shadow Song. Thank you, Z. I got my words completely mixed up. Not. S what was I saying? I can't really even remember what I was saying now. Storm Scale, Storm Wind. Storm Wind, yes. Shadow Song. There we go. The only thing I got right in that was a. Um, was an S. <laughs> that was terrible. I said Storm Wind. <laughs> yeah. Just like my Dalaran flying achievement. Oh dear. I think I have some days better than others. 
I blame it down to um, my new work schedule and being more tired than usual, if that's any excuse for now. Oh, I forgot I didn't do want to do that cancel. I'll have to wait for the enchanting to come back up now. Oops. I said Stormwind. <laughs> Can't believe I said Stormwind. I'm in Stormwind. Uh, I'll be also a bit sceptical, but you went and looked. Historical prices for the Draenor and Int flasks on your server, and they about doubled around Legion launch and have remained high since. Oh, interesting. So there's a, there's a chance that the, the Legion ones will do the same. Oh, hi, right one too. Thanks for stopping by. Last 35 days, you made 1.1 million, your first one, Prisvero. Excellent, congratulations. That first million is a lovely achievement to have. Definitely uh, really nice to, to, to make that milestone. Congratulations. When Legion launched, nobody was doing Water Drain or herbing much, so the mats went up too. Don't expect many people will be herbing in Legion when BFA hits either. Yes, that's the thing that happens, isn't it? So, unless you've got some stock ready, then people are going to um, struggle. There we are. And there's no garrison garden. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. So there's no easy way of getting things. Oh, I should have done my daily cooldown to ourselves there. Let's go move on to tailoring whilst we're here, and then cooking after that. Just want to double check everything. A big dilemma is how to store the herbs flask between now and when it launches. You've been buying bulk starlight um, at 24 gold, and hoping it goes even cheaper. Yeah, because I think, well, well, some people will be just dumping everything on the auction house to make space and uh, get rid of stuff. Uh, you started blacksmith, get like 70% from patterns and start to craft something yesterday and you sell the dark iron and it gives 30k. Well, that sounds pretty cool, Pris. I really like the sound of those numbers. You're not trying to stock up but having intense trouble shifting the stuff. Ah, right. So herbs is the subject. In in a general uh, roundabout way, right one too, we're also thinking about um, anything to do with BFA and whether um, certain things are going to go up in price or not. So let's go up, back, there we go. Groups, tailoring, restock, anything? Ah, those two. Um, I don't know if True Gold has a daily cooldown. No idea. Um, so when you hit 90, it won't be worth your time doing garrisons. I think, old man farmer, it is it is worth setting them up, and then you can um, at least sort of um, get them going, depending on what you want to do, because um, they they are useful. Um, there is no dote cooldown. Okay, uh, Gill Banks, though, I would hundred percent recommend crafting and selling for at least a few more months. Yeah, to see how things go. Um, Felwort and Starlight Rose Bacon all going to be hard. True Gold is also benefited by Transmute Mastery. You get about 20% extra long term with the Transmute Mastery. Oh, that sounds cool. Uh, gathering. Start gathering. Uh, any intermediates? Bolt of Silk Cloth. Right, let's start with those. I want to ask you have like 60 hex weed bags. Better to wait um, to sell. Um, maybe the market will go up because New Realm's two and a half k. I would say two and a half k is pretty reasonable, Prisro. I would, I would sell, I would sell now because more bags are going to be coming in with BFA, and so if anything, the price might go down. Um, so I would probably, um, I would probably sell them. Keep using your daily cooldowns. Keep ticking them over. Um, liquid gold means you can invest more things and make more gold. Yeah, I think the general consensus is from everyone else is is to sell sell for now, but don't go crazy cheap or anything. 
Um, let's switch that down and then back again. There we go. Bolt of silk cloth. Bolt of silk. Oh, thank you, Prisro, for the follow. Very kind of you. Thanks for joining the stream. Ooh, what's the cat doing? Looking a bit strange. Um, at the moment, Hexley bags are down to 1700. Well, that is a little bit low, isn't it? Um, because I, so you're going to hold off, are you? Yeah, I guess try and catch them when they're a little bit higher. I think about 2300 on um, where I'm at at the moment. Cue that up. Make that. Having like 20,000 fur and 2,000 primal spirits. Yeah, so you could you could um, you could do the um, make them with the primal spirits, couldn't you? But they'd have to be quite a bit more than 2,500. It'd have to be more like 3,000, I think, to get a profit with those. Yeah, I think everything's looking towards a new bag for Sig, so I think we are, according to the data mining stuff. Hey, Handy on Ken, thank you for stopping by. Um, so on your survey, they're selling for 2.8k, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I think that's a good profit for that. I would certainly sell even Primal Spirit made ones for 2.8k. It's like a break of a season. Holiday isn't at semester time too, and daylight hour changes. Mm. Yeah, I think the the prices. I guess it's just a question of looking on your server and seeing how thing. You can go primal weave till till you turn insane. <laughs> you do primal weave a lot, do you, Prism Weave? Yeah, check your costs on those because they can be more a lot more expensive. Um, and all your alts have hex weave bags. Wow, okay, that's a that's an army of cooldowns already. And um order hall. Um hex weave cloth. How much have we got at the moment? Speaking of cooldowns, fifty-four. So we'll create one of those. Create another of these for now. And then let's do a celestial, which will give me White cloud leggings. Oh, that's new. White cloud. Well, I've got a white cloud belt already that seems to be amazingly high. 28,000. White cloud leggings are also at 34,000. And that's going to take 28 celestial cloths. That's, that is very expensive. Celestial cloth. And that is going to cost you the spirit of war. That's not the, that's not the mat cost. There we are. Um, price of silk went up um, finally to above five gold. Um, you don't have the hex weave, so you'd be happy to do a new option. Yeah, I think for for those that don't do the hex weave, yeah, it'd be nice to do something different. Okay, you're fully here. Excellent, Emery. I hope it went well. Tired a bit, so sleep is required. No problem, uh, Emery. Well, you have a great night. I hope you're in bed. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Pardon me. I hope your event went well. Uh, thanks for stopping by anyway. Um, wonder how much one guild bank tab full of silk is. Average buy price of four gold fourteen. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Softburn. Um, guess just do a cancel and shopping scan. Yeah, finish off on a good one, real quick. <laughs> so, looking at these white cloud. <laughs> nice use of an emote, right one too. Looking at these white cloud leggings, um, the crafting cost is coming in at 24,000. Now they're currently selling for 15,000 on the region market. And it's saying it's going to cost me um, 28 celestial cloth, but the celestial cloth cost is coming in at 
that, but I'm not sure the crafting cost is that because of that spirit of war I don't think I have. Let me just have a look at um, my celestial cloth at the moment. See, my celestial cloth is just on a daily cooldown, which takes 10 wind wool, not 5 and 1 wool. So um, I would say that this is this is the better way of doing it. So I need to change my mat cost of the celestial cloth. So um, that should be the price of 10 wind wool would be the price I would put that at. Spirit war is unobtainable in game. Um, oh, right, well, that explains why that's so expensive at 825. You can bypass by using the spirit of war. Okay. So the way I would do this is I would look up um, the price of bolt of wind wool, which has a crafting cost is based off of my. Um, uh, see the mat cost there is coming in at four ninety six which is based off of my average purchase price which I don't think is going to be correct because I mainly get mine through making it and the crafting cost is coming right so we're going to have to do some extra things on here a couple of things are wrong both the bolt of windwall cloth I think is wrong at a mat cost of 4 gold 96 because that should really be based off of my crafting cost. So we have to go into TSM and change a few things. I'm not in TSM, I'm going to do it in here. So crafting reports into ta no not crafts materials. There we go. Into tailoring. Operation Math, yep, it, we, we're about to go a bit deeper into this, a little bit, runs. <laughs> it's the right, right one too, um, I'm not the brightest tool in the box anyway, oh, oh, uh, this is going to be tricky, because TSM is crashing whenever I use the scroll wheel. Uh, right, okay, let's think of um, a different way, okay, we need to change this, um, what do we do, um, used scroll you are to be wheel in material list in crafting window okay there we go we have to do a re a reload hey Rasheen how are you thanks for stopping by use the whiteboard math is good absolutely We'll have to do this. We might have to, um, if we can't get the material to put in the price, we might not be able to do this anyway, which is going to be tricky, um, depending on whether we can, maybe we'll have to search, use the search box to find it. Because that's the only other way I can think of getting to the material. Math is good, absolutely. So we're basically, the prices of our wind wool were out. No, the price of the wind wool I think are fine, but the prices of the bolts of wind wool were out, which then meant also our price of celestial cloth is out, because that's the wrong crafting cost, which meant the new thing that we bought is out. Doing very well, thank you very much. We're just going through this little operation. We're in the middle of doing restocks at the moment, and so we're just trying to work out make sure that TSM's got the right prices, um, which is good. Um, so put both on crafting. Um, yes, I've, although the crafting, the Celestial is already on a crafting one. Oh, God, Caligos has come in. Hold on. Speech overload. The Bolt of Windwall equals crafting. Yes, I'll definitely use that one. Uh, one of the only subjects you can check your work, not like film blank history test, either you know or you don't. Yes, that's true, Fisig, you can do that. 
Um, maybe remove the macro from the scroll wheel. Do you think that's causing it, Hieronymus? Because the scroll wheel um, is only for the other things. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to try a... Um, yes, so I need 10, ten um, times bolt of wind wool with the code. Yes, that's exactly what I need to do. Um, for that one, so that that's based off of the daily cooldown one. I'm going to try it just using the search for Hieronymus, and then if that doesn't work, I'll do what you suggest and take off the macro and see if that helps. Uh, no, thank you, Cat. Could hear you behind me. Okay. She's just come to sit behind me. Right, so I'm not going to use the scroll wheel. I'm going to use the search instead and see if that works. Um, we want uh, tailoring. <laughs> I still haven't done the other commands yet, Emery, but thank you for putting that one in. Um, so we want celeste, celestial cloth, right? You're saying 870, which is wrong. We want this to be, um, or using a modifier like shift or alt for the macro. That is true, actually, Hieronymus. Um, good point. I've already used control for my macro, and I wasn't pressing that, so maybe it isn't that. Um, ah, good evening, Shin. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. How's your day been? Are you all set for the Easter weekend? We need this to be... We need the item number for Bolt of Windpool. Um, so I'm going to use... Um, Undermine Journal. Bolt of wind wool to look up the item number of bolt of window window wind wool so then going to wow head the number is <laughs> cost it beat me to it eight two four four one thank you both of you right so um, the price of celestial cloth is going to be 10 times item number um, where has it gone? 82441 82441 invalid custom price okay so um, what have I done differently there? would I need brackets? no 82441 Oh, there we go. Hold on. Uh, there we go. The add-on called all the things is showing you the item IDs in the tooltip of items. By the way, ooh, I did try finding a, a something that did that. Um, thank you, Rasheen. I'll look up for that one. Um, we already done what you're doing now weeks ago. Yeah, I think that's the. Um... Hold on. Did I miss something? Uh... Because that game starts at 12 a.m. Twitchpedia. <laughs> Two willies here. Yeah, I did see that clip. Uh, did, uh, just catch up on chat. Uh, shows you how much you follow baseball. We're a Padres fan, so this makes us more enemies. I have no idea what that means. Um, wrap the item five in a function like DB Market. Um, items in square brackets. Okay, brilliant. Okay, here we go for the windwall cloth. Hold on, here we go. Thank you, everyone. I was just catching up on chat and I didn't miss all the other things. There we go. Um, and good evening, Jeff Brown. Thank you for uh, stopping by. So, item in square brackets. Let's try that. 
Not sure if that's... No, that's that doesn't look right. There we are. Yes, maybe the wish list for TSM4 is show the item ID somewhere. Yeah, that would definitely be useful. Um, or mat price. I did... Let me... Hold on. Hold the force. Let me just look up. What we can do... I've got this already. Um, in enchanting. In my arcana. So, arcana is the average price. I'm using item and then the number in brackets and then times by something. Okay. So, let's go back to tailoring. Look up celestial. And change this. Um, item. Brackets. Oh, I can't remember what I did. I think I then did... Item brackets, what was the number again? Scroll up, hold on. 82441, this is where having a memory doesn't help. 82441 brackets, home, brackets, and times 10. What did I do wrong? Let's copy that and look back. Let's do all and then go arcana. Let's do a copy and a paste. That will... oh. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Look what happened there. Okay, hold on. Hold, hold the fort. We need to do another reload. Um, what were we doing? We copied and pasted um, using using search in materials all materials right okay reload there we go there we go close that down here we go thank you very much Copy paste the other one here and delete edit. Yep, I think that's what I was about to do, right one two, and then it all crashed. Wrap it with a price source function like average buy. Ah, that's a good one, um, Harun. So I'm with you now. Now I understand with the, what you were meaning with the function. Um Yes, okay. Right, we're with you now. Both item and I work. Okay, thank you, executioner. Um, there we go. We got. We, we're getting there. I think. I think we just need to do a a, a reload. We there. Did I say Happy Easter, Solka? If I didn't, Happy Easter. Thanks for stopping by the stream. I'm just waiting on a reload, and then we're gonna get our functions working properly, and then we're then we're gonna win. Must be off. Pleasure as always. Oh, thanks ever so much for stopping by uh, Darkshore Capital. Pleasure to have you with us. I hope you have a great rest of your Easter. If we don't see you before then. I should be on hopefully at some point tomorrow night, but I'm not sure exactly of, of timings. So um, I have to wait and see what happens. Let's go and wait for this to load. So, right we are. Okay. Oh, elemental forces. Excuse me, just sold. Right. So. Let's do this carefully. And make sure that we don't crash whilst doing this. I'm going to copy and paste the Arcana one. Because um, I've got Hieronymus's text up there. And then I've got the 82441 text there. And then... That should work. Borrow one, steal from the other, and hopefully get this working. Because this is this is the important thing with TSM is you need to be able to do this, otherwise you'll never have the correct prices for things. And TSM will forever be wrong. Alright, I copy the whole lot. And close that like a pro programmer. <laughs> uh, 
And then we're going to search for Celestial Cloth. And we're going to paste that in. Um, we've got two here, so we can take... Let's take this one. So average by brackets, I, well that could be item, it doesn't matter. Um, take the number out and put in 82441 and we're going to times it instead of by 3 by 10. So the average buy price of bolt of wind wool cloth. Ah, no, that's not what we want to do actually. We need... Yeah, yeah. Better copy great work than creating new bugs. <laughs> yep, definitely. Just still copy paste till it works. Yep, that's how the pros do it. We're doing this wrong. We actually need to base this off the average, not the average buy price. We want this. This will be the crafting cost of wind wool clock, bolt of wind wool. Because the crafting cost. So this should be crafting, because if we did average buy, the, the buy price of Windwell is different to the crafting cost, which is the mat cost. Or, if I was going to use average buy, I would have to do it of the Windwell itself, not the bolt, and then I would have to... <laughs> it's getting there, Emery, it's getting there. I could use average buy, but I'd have to use wind wool rather than bolt of wind wool and increase that times 10 by times 50. So I could do it either way. I could either do crafting or I could do average buy. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go with this. No invalid price. Hey, newer... newer of in? Newer of in. Thanks for stopping by. How are you? I know, it's good because you know what you're doing there. Yeah, it's slowly, slowly getting it. So I'm going to have to close this down and reopen it before I see what that's going to be. Um, but looking at this, wind wool. So wind wool cloth is based off of my average buy price, which is correct. And bolt of wind wool cloth the mat cost is coming in at 4 gold 96 which is my average buy price but the problem with that one is i mainly get mine from crafting so i need to change my bolt of wind wool to not be the minimum between the two i actually need it to either be the average of the two because i have bought some but i mainly do it through crafting so i don't think the average would be equal so I think I would be better off actually just doing crafting. So I'm going to do crafting is just the price. Oh, I know what I could do. Okay. I could use first slash average buy. There we go. And I'll use first. That means it will use crafting first, then it would use average buy if I didn't have a crafting. But that's never going to happen anyway, so probably over complicating things. Let's keep it simple. We just want crafting. There we go. Let me just double check on them. Um, came in to say that you love my streams and YouTube videos. Oh, thank you very much, New Evan. It's very kind of you. There we go. You never buy for more than the price of crafting, so you can ignore average buy. You overcomplicate things now. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. I'm going to have to rewatch this from the beginning. Yeah, it's it's a bit it's a bit brain because we had several steps. It, this is all to do with the new tailoring pattern we learnt, but we had to go back several steps to work out what was going wrong with our prices. So we're going to close that. So now, there we go, now the wind wool cloth mat cost is correct. Keep all your bolts at crafting, anything you find cheaper on the auction house, you just count as a, a mini win. 
Yeah, I think that's a good idea, Z. Um, definitely. So Bolt of Windwool is now on crafting, which is 11 gold, which is which is where we should be at. And then the Celestial, if we do another search for that, going up, up the tree. Celestial Cloth. If we go back that, now that's changed now. So the the mat cost is 113 gold. Now would that be what I expect? Let me just check. Um, wind wool. Yeah, so that's right. So that's a, 10 times the bolt of wind wool cloth. So, so that's correct. So celestial is correct. So therefore, now I've got to remember what what the new thing I learned to make was, which I haven't got in my list now. It was something cool sounding. Yeah, 113 it should be. So, so that's working. So going back to that thing that we could make, which was called something cool. And I had two of them. Um, where am I in? I'm in enchanting. I need to swap over. Hold on. Tailoring. So the new thing. Put in plus 200 for the daily cooldown cost. You think so, Kosuk? Why would you, why would you add the 200 in? Um, they just did. <laughs> yes, I'm getting there, Emery. See, that's the good thing, is not being afraid to make mistakes. And keep going until you, you've got it in your head. So you don't sell near crafting cost ever. Okay, so I'll have to bear that in mind when I do the... Because it's so hard to come by, because you'd need a lot of celestial cloth, wouldn't you? Um, so, looking at what I can make here... It was... Um, have we seen how many weeks it takes to just make one? Yeah, that's a lot. Oh, hey, yeah, it's Alex and Sharon. Um, could use this for the Vault of Windwool. Uh, the minimum between crafting, average buy, and for the Bolt. So crafting, average buy, average buy of the uh, Windwool times five. That is that is a good idea, Alex, but we just changed that because the reason was I didn't most of my bolts of wind wool I'd only actually bought a few bolts of wind wool for a really really cheap price and they using the mint operation was offsetting um, the whole the whole formula so using the min wouldn't work in this case because it put, it put my min down to four gold um, which was based off my average buy but that's not a realistic amount because most of my wind wool is is from the crafting so we we had to strip it back and simplify but it's a good idea though yeah it did bring my down my price but i don't that's not how i've gotten my wind wool unfortunately in this case and yes you're right Cossie, it does take a lot of celestial cloth to make this um what you're missing in tsm is a return from the min function for which part is used for the calculation in the tool tip what do you mean by that? Let me just try and work that out. Um, so you'd, how would you, how would you want part of it used? So like zero for the first price source, one for the next. Um, so like min between average buy and DB region.
you want to know if it used average by all TV region. Ah, yes, I see what you mean, yes. So you're, it's basically giving you like that extra bit of debugging kind of information. You're looking at it and saying, okay, the, the map price is this because I've chosen this out of the two options. So it gives you a bit of extra feedback. That's pretty cool. Uh, you're saying you can only make five patterns with the Celestial, but um, only make one if no others are on the auction. Or you have have to have 14 stock. Then you make one, whichever is the most valuable. That makes sense. You really shouldn't have stayed up to do one last castle scan. <laughs> oh well. Well, it has to, it has to be done, Emery. Just that one, one, one last scan. Um, so if I switch to regular UI and type in celestial, this tells me what makes. This was what I was looking for. The white cloud leggings. This is the new thing. Oh, what, what you said wouldn't work. Okay. Who's that to it? Uh, excuse me. Oh, yes. I think what you're using, uh, check. Yes, I see what I mean. Yes, I missed that bit. Excuse me, now I'm with you. But then it's like, oh, I'll do a shopping scan real quick. Oh, look, some cheap primals. <laughs> Too many squirrels, that's the thing, isn't it? And maybe she'll go farm some more things. And then before you know... Only works if you don't sleep. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you there, Rasheen and Emery. I know exactly what you mean for both of those. So now, looking at that, the crafting cost has come right down to 3,100. Now, there is one on the auction house, and I don't have enough... Um, Celestial cloth, anyway, to make this. So, uh, so we're not going to make this anyway. But we do now know it's only squirrel after ten p.m. <laughs> I should go out and farm it. Yep, that's exactly it, Emery. It just keeps on going. Keeps going till like three a.m. Sleep for four or five. Yep. It would work. Min always returns the smaller one, so you know which one is smaller if you subtract one from the other. Um, but how do you know which one? Um, so you'd know if you end up with the first or the second part of the check function. But you'd have. What would be nice if it, was, if it actually told you which one it was using, I think. He sold yesterday 100 Primal Fire for 80k and 50 Water for 30k. Wow, that's pretty good, Pris Road. Will you farm them yourself? And then start all over again, because like, yeah, you do. True, but I need that info for the tooltip. Yeah, I think so. I think it would be really useful, um, Hieronymus. Because then you could look at that and you say, Okay, I'm I've got this price and therefore it would be for that. But we're not going to make one of these anyways because they're See, that's going to take I've got 20. How many have I got? 20, yeah, 20 celestial cloths. So I haven't even got enough to make these. So that white leggings is 34 and that white cloud is 28, yeah. You do farm alone. Um, Demon Hunter with leg boots. Oh, okay, Pris, right, that's cool. Because of people like you, they have to go out and farm for stuff. Do you mean have to or you don't have to? Because selling the stuff is is surely what you want, Emery. The belt looks great, though. Does it? I haven't got the... Um... Is that it? Oh yeah, that does look quite nice. 
How do the legs look? I can't see under my robe. Reset, close, there we go. There's just never a point where there's uh, nothing to do in WoW. Yeah, tell me about it, Rishi. There's so much. My list is huge of stuff I want to do. I keep adding to my list of stuff I want to do. But you also buy all your primal down of 700 and put uh, yours up for 8 to 9. Oh, okay. Expensive mats in the auction means you need to farm for... Oh, right, I see what you mean, Emery, yes. Um... Has Earthen got war bear harness and woolies yet? I don't think so, Bullet Wolf. Um, I'm not sure how to get those yet. I haven't looked them up. The times it's down for maintenance. <laughs> you get too li overwhelmed looking at them. Yeah, I've got kind of like an overall arcing list of things I want to do. Um, at the moment, it's the dailies, the gold-making daily stuff. And then on top of that, it's like the drain or flying. So I'll try and have at least one extra thing. Um, check which item is not available in your surface auction house. Yeah, but I mean, that one is, there's one on. And the belt, there's one on. So there's one of each on at the moment. I'm not even sure whether that white cloud one's me. It might be. Uh, it's, okay. Sounds like time is not worth a return. Yeah. Where's it from? It's from Timbermore and Wintergrass Fellwood. Right. Yeah, it depends on how much sleep you need. Right, so we looked at those. Let's get back into where we were at, which was. Did we do food? I don't think we did, did we? We were still on tailoring. After doing all that and our cooldowns, we haven't gone on to food. Ah, uh, good evening, caffeinated. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. Time is totally worth a return, even if all you did that day was just messing with your competition. <laughs> yeah, we know how you like to do that, Rasheen, as well. Um... You haven't started uh, tailoring leatherworking yet, just blacksmithing and alchemy. Okay, Prisro. Um, I would like, I'm the opposite way. I would like to do, um, not too bad, just debating what professions to focus on. Ooh, whichever one you like the sound of. Um, they all have their, their fun bits. Um, I'm really enjoying cooking and tailoring and enchanting. Leatherworking I haven't gotten so much into, and then all the others I'd like to get started on. But that's a question of me just uh, making sure my characters are ready. It's yeah, some good fun yesterday with a totally new guy resetting Binding of Intellect while you were still online. <laughs> you have all of them across all your tunes, um, just doesn't ha haven't done all the quests. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I'm... I'm I'm even further steps behind you on the, than that caffeinated, but yeah, um, pick whichever's fun and go go find some extra ones. Uh, whoops, meant to click on that. Okay, restock. What have we got? Oh, just labor cube ribs. Is that right? I'll leave that for now. It's not no point starting that just for those. Okay. There we go. Blacksmithing is nice. Uh, well, for one week, sell stuff. Um, hammer, 89k. Not that hard to make and get mats. Okay, that sounds like a decent amount. Nothing in here. Okay. But dark iron items are pretty expensive, right? And of course, you have to go get the, the recipes for them as well. Uh, that's currently okay. How are we doing on our food? Lavish Surama Feast. Are we the current cheapest? Lavish. Uh, no, we're not. We've got four of one, one of twenties up here. So I'm going to do a cancel scan on these. 
because these I want to make sure uh, deselect all large meals run cancel scan there we go um, the patterns you get in like five minutes okay oh you're about to get them are you Joe? excellent yeah I haven't gotten that far yet it's my death knight that I've chosen to be my blacksmith um, I don't believe that was what I wanted to cancel let me just go back large meals I wanted feasts that's what I wanted you want to have some dark iron on transmog ready to go yeah I think that's pretty cool oh hey um, Convusatis thanks for stopping by how are you I hope you're doing well uh, da, 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 da. let's take those off and go put them back on you have three patterns um, for tailoring on black rock right okay that's where you get them <clears throat> excuse me um, let's open up these feasts take them off keep checking for the black rock bulwark um, but none seems to have it on your server alright okay good thanks doing very well thank you um, just going through my usual enchanting tailoring and cooking restocks which took us a little a little while can you cancel buy time left with TSM4 what do you mean seahorse do you mean like the um, the time you paid for premium I imagine you probably need to just take that up with um, the TSM team I'm sure you probably could oh cancel buy time left now I'm with you I completely misunderstood you uh, yes you can in TSM4 select duration and you can select buy time left here go to anything short or anything under two hours or anything uh, I haven't got anything everything's long for me at the moment and then they come in there and then you can go through and cancel them and just select the one and go click through the cancel and then it works that way I uh, just need to buy like um, 20 fairy core or something like that they are cheap and after you buy the patterns oh, okay okay this sounds like a technique there preserve I'll need to look that up I'm I'm a ways off my um, blacksmithing so it's going to be on the list of stuff to research and what I'm going to do is head on over to Dalaran because we need to go say hello to Nomi check on world quests and pick up some more order hall missions definitely drop two in your party last two days uh, not to you oh that's a shame Prisro I'll hopefully uh, Yeah, no problem seahorse it's it's quite a nice function I use it for the short ones the under 30 minutes ones and the two hour ones I've been running black temple for weeks wow okay that's uh that's gonna be uh something to think about about getting my professions up sooner if things are gonna take a longer to collect certain recipes You drop it on a fur farm in that ground. Oh, they look alike. Okay. So there's something else you can get that looks similar. Alright, I'm just going to grab some more water. Oh, it's loaded up now. I'll grab some in a minute. Um, usual routine. I'll say hello to Nomi because now we're after Nomi snacks more than anything else now prepared ingredients more slightly burnt food and some badly burnt food 
So we need to sell that. Where's the slightly burnt food? That one. Sell that. Now how am I doing for stocks? 966, 1970, 1100, 900, 1600. Okay, we're going to pick up 500. Now let's do 600. So a neat of three stacks. And another 600 of that. And then 400 of that. There we are. Check the same model tab. Yeah, that's a. Uh, uh, well, really glad you've gotten your hands on a thousand spirit farming for 200 each. Market value is up to 400. Uh, that's gone up a lot, uh, Emery. When you see it drop two times, just leave the game. Get nervous for me uh, dropping some epic soldiers for 20k gold. Shield in your run was like 300k. Wow, Prizo. Some big prices there. Uh, the rest I'll keep. Oh, critical strikes just sold. I think, I guess people are finishing their raids. Now, TSM's going to crash here. Um, you bought that shield and was drainer because it was really good. In the beginning, you paid 100k. Wow. And now it's like 300k. Well, on that, not on the same realm, obviously. Right, I bet you TSM crashes on this, because it has been crashing every time this gets automatically opened up. Oh, no problem, uh, Corview Satis. I didn't see anything. Uh, nope. Didn't see anything came up there, uh, Corvus I think you're all good. You're. We've all been new to Twitch at some point, so don't worry about that. Um, we're all welcome here, whatever level you're at. Uh, you equipped it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good plan executioner. I mean, it's really only one of only two ways to get the the, the transmog itself right. Yeah. Uh, last time you played well was Lich King, and you came back before. Two to three, two to three, is that months you came back before? Um, restock those, there we go. And then I've, I've done this one already. Um, reported already. So I'm gonna do a reload of UI. Right, now I'm gonna go and get some water. Hisham, thanks for stopping by. How are you? Uh, trying to change username to a different colour. wasn't sure if you could see the commands in chat. Ah, no, I couldn't see that myself. I've got a different window up for that. So don't worry about that, Corvi Satis. You want the shield. Uh, big red head, like. That sounds cool. Uh, did you watch the video Sharpen did on the add-on that will help you find the patterns? Akis recipe list, yes. I, I know that one, uh, Brain Dead. It's really useful. You have a hard time listening to Shuffling? Ah, oh, you like Sam a lot more. Oh, that's very kind of you, Cossack. Yeah, Cookie's here. She's just uh, just below camera. She starts dribbling on me before long. Hold it. There she goes. She's back to her back to her seat. Yeah. Uh, sorry if you flipped my chat. No problem. Uh, 
No problem, Prisro. That's what it's all for. Some cheap Borean leather. I only talk for three hours. <laughs> yeah, thereabouts. Um, depending on how long I'm on for. By cheap, you mean less than two gold each? Well, buy them all, Emery. That's see, see, it was a good, it was good that you didn't um, go to bed, Emery. You see, there was there was a reason. Oh, got stuck again. I hate it when I do that. There we go. Yep, bought them all. Excellent. Excellent. You review what you gained from Sharkin's host last week, so I guess hosts do work. Oh, excellent seahorse. Well, thank you for stopping by again. That was quite quite the host that Sharkin gave me. Um, didn't encourage him, he's going to be in the auction house all night. <laughs> yeah, well, I think we've all been there, Rasheen, definitely. Just one more auction. Yeah, the, the, going back to what I was saying about, yeah, Sharkin's host was, was amazing. It's about the most people I've ever had in my stream, ever. Don't be like me, go to bed, sleep, enough hours. <laughs> Too late, he's a goner. <laughs> some people, um, sometimes you put the material up really cheap to put, to people undercut you and then you buy them like Jumps of Fury. Yes, people do that quite often, Prince Row. They put them on with, without checking the prices. Really enjoying all the uh, streamers um, you've seen through Sam and Sharkin's host. Oh, thank you, Blissfire. I think this is the nice thing about the goal-making community, is everyone is very friendly and does host each other. And I think you can, as a viewer, you know, it's up to you totally to pick who you like and who you don't like. Um, we all offer something different. Um, <clears throat> you post 100 for 40 gold, people start to undercut, and then you buy them all. Yeah, that's pretty pretty good tactic there Prisro. you always put up one mote of harmony yeah because people don't realize about the um the the um the difference with those two for like 30 and 300 okay so that's like your base buying price you know you're obsessing over the auction house too much when your girlfriend says something very sweet and you reply with oh my god exotic leather for one gold 20 <laughs> yeah Not that ever happened to you, true story. <laughs> uh, one completed, and that's my nether shards. There we go. Oh, I did my jump again. There we go. And you sell stacks of 10 spirit over 400. Yeah, that's pretty pretty nice profit margins there. Costa. Um, da -da, Emery, all those endorphins flooding you. Don't buy too much, you'll have to get a new tune again. <laughs> Hi, U U Uzova, how are you? Uh, do I sit on the ground? Oh, not fully on the ground. I sit on a cushion on the ground. It's very comfortable. You can never buy too much mats. Oh, yeah, the hoarder in me definitely knows that one. Ooh, frost weave for less than the gold. Yes, you can buy too many mats. Yeah, I, my uh, 3,000 Chaos Crystals would uh, agree with you on that. Although they were a bargain, so I'm, I'm sticking with them. Sam, the TSM guru. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Sorry, kind of you. I stand ready to help. And, yeah, let's do that one. And anything else? No, we'll leave the rest. Two guild banks full and four tunes. I think that's a pretty, pretty decent. Ah, oh, hey Grace, how are you? Just talking to my son, um, taking your son to work. Okay, thank you, Grace. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, if you ever have a fight with your friends, say I only went with you because you were the cheapest on the auction house. 
Oh dear, pointy no. 3k chaos crystals is worth one Wednesday for you. You cannot buy too many. Yeah, my volumes are way, way less than you, uh, Rasheen. That, that um, chaos crystals is going to keep me for a long while. Oh, acolytes have been exhausted. Just spotted that. Yeah, I've seen that seahorse, um, but apparently they've been returned from their bands quite easily, so hopefully that's all right. Your realm slowly turns into low pop too. <laughs> um, bought two lucky charms for two gold, popped up on your search. I think I've gotten one of those, I'm not sure. Everyone's transferring. <laughs> I don't think it's related to you though, Rasheen. I hope not. You lost half your population over the past year. I wonder why that is. Well, I hope you managed to sell those costs out. Get yourself a good profit for those. For there were only, what, a uh, couple of gold. Only one person ever actually transferred away because of you. <laughs> So that had to be done. Well, that's fair enough. I'm going to use them in crafts. Okay, well, that will um, help with your profit margins. You farm your spirit of harmony when you do farm your sky shard and you get many mats from keys, from plus keys. Mats plus from keys. So that's why Silvermoon is so filled up. Everyone likes you. <laughs> that's right, pointy name. Last time you go in with 200 keys. Aegwin EU has such a bad rep. Players from that realm are hated, even in cross-realm groups. Really? I didn't realise certain realms had a, a poor reputation. It's not something I ever paid much attention to. Oh, an invasion's on. Um, oh, that's good. Nine bloods. Oh, what's that? Uh, dark corruptors. Okay, we can do that one. And that one's an easy one. Oh, right, it's the biggest German troll server. Flying the wrong direction, need to go this way. Silk Moon are very elitist, are they? Chamber of Aspects are all noobs. I never knew that. I never I never even thought about different servers having different reputations. Stormscale horde PvP. So is it mainly horde? Is it imbalanced one way? It used to be on Silver Moon. New player server, been for a year. Ah, okay. Um, Chamber of Aspects has a lot of nice people you met from there, though. Oh. And the skill level's so much lower, is it? Oh. Okay. Oh, hey, drop pencil. How are you? Oh, hold on. Not that one either. Missed that one. There we are. Oh, and hello, Gold Queen. How are you? Haven't seen you in a while. Let me just find my quest before I lose everything. Okay, you, you play PvP, uh, Affliction Warlock. Okay. We're just going through and... Oh, is this the one we need to do? No, it's further on. Where's our quest we want? It's over here. This one. This guy. Need to go a little bit further. Let's go up over here. There we go. So we're just discussing differences in servers at the moment, as in... Um, Different servers have different reputations, apparently. Right, there we go. Initialize the search. Any around? No groups? Okay. Right, where's the leader? Here somewhere. 
Okay, well, whilst we're waiting for you, I'll do a few of you whilst we're waiting. There we go. <laughs> You've been waiting for I've read the garrison, while we? I haven't been doing a great deal, actually, um, with my garrison, other than trying to get my walls to drain off. But it's still there, Gold Queen, it's still there. I haven't ignored you completely. Let me just check up on chat, make sure I haven't missed anything. Um, they're just the skill levels lower. Well, I'm jumping around all over the place. Hold on. Let's get this sorted properly. Oh, there's a boss up. There we go. There we are. And then I'll catch up on chat once I've done this. There we are. Oh, there we are. I've got that. Uh, German, French, Portuguese serves are excellent for transport and pets. Oh, is that right? Uh, uh, what else did I miss on? Just hit your first two mills on Order Hall Gold missions. Oh, excellent. Nice one. Congratulations, uh, New Avin. Uh, My wife, brothers, uh, doing boosts. Boots to boots. I uh, wish your brain could deal with relogging. I make gold from all your tunes, all the halls too. Only an option, of course. Yes, right, okay. I think I've caught up on chat. Whilst everyone else has been running around. Hold on. There we go. Let's go loot up these. And we need two more dark corruptors. Let's go collect up these. Boost. Yes, okay, I'm with you now. Any more Dark Corruptors? Oh, there's one. There's the main the main guy. Is there again. It's going to wait for another one. I bet another one will spawn here. Oh, I've aggroed the boss. Okay. I'll do you again then. There we go. Now's the time you're going to sleep. Okay, Emery. Well, I hope you've got a much more profitable... Um, than when you were earlier so congrats on that and thanks ever so much for stopping by the stream and hope to see you again soon All right, just need one more dark corruptor Let's wait for them to spawn there we are good luck not dreaming about cheap mats <laughs> yeah do another scan yeah yeah you need to change now um any more Dark Corruptors? These take a little while to respawn. Oh, there's one. There we go, done. That's done, let's move out. Somewhere safe. There we go, right, okay. The gas and crap, but... Uh, but he needed uh, flying. Yes, that's right. Uh, Gold Queen. I'm just working my way through the flying at the moment. Uh, let me just double check. I've caught you on. You're not being able to play, uh, but this isn't the right place to say why. Okay, no problem, uh, Gold Queen. There we go. Uh, one of your latest hostel stays. You did dream the Coast Iron Bar was the hostel's own garrison. <laughs> That's brilliant. Um, check them three times a day, in the morning was while I'm going to work, then at my lunchtime. Uh, came back home, play a couple of hours. Yeah, that's pretty That's pretty much what I used to do. I don't really have quite as much time these days now to do that much. So I tend to keep most of my stuff in the stream now these days. All right, we're done here. So we need to head to Garrison next. Weirdest dreams you ever had was on ketamine. Okay, decided together that it wasn't a good med for you. Okay. Yeah, that's... Uh, if you're going to get weird dreams, it's probably not going to be good for your body, is it? Or your brain. 
I guess it depends depends on the dreams though. Oh, is it well known for that? I did not know that. Oh, it's hardly ever used. Oh, okay. Interesting. I wonder if they basically they know that it's got so many side effects now that it says... We don't care what the effects are, but you need to sleep. Oh, okay. That's probably not as helpful, is it? Uh, good night, Clarky. Thanks ever so much for stopping by. I hope you have a good... Good evening, and I uh, hope to see you again soon. Oh, they know, do they? Okay. Uh, one time you dreamed a fight with some guy and gave him a punch. Oh, no, Priscilla, that doesn't sound good. Um, yeah, going 72 hours without sleep will also make you loopy. That's true. And it's dangerous, yeah. You can. Once you start getting uh, hallucinations, really not good for you, is it? Oh, 86%, not quite good enough. That's 100%. Don't want to bother with that. That I do want to bother with. And that one. Okay. <laughs> yes, I won't read that one out, see, just, just in case. Because I'll be putting this on YouTube, so... Uh, I have to make sure I retain my PG rating. Yes, that's true. Oh, look, dust traders up. Any good things for me to do? 50 draining dust, what do you get for that? I've got two and a half thousand, so I should be all right with that. For 25 primal spirits, okay. already know that. I'll leave the rest. There you go. Oh, it's, oh, it's legal for you anyway, isn't it? Cause, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to. No, that's true, but I do just tend to... Um, I've, you've probably noticed this, I do tend to read all the things out loud. That's about the only way I kind of... Uh, it's my extra level of comprehension. Welcome. Oh, 20, close to 16, but not quite. Tend to stay home on the couch and not drive a car somewhere whilst under the influence. This is true. Yeah. Yeah, it has alcohol has quite quite the effect on you. And not necessarily in a good way. I'm back to five hours of sleep a night. Uh swapping thirty five a week. Well that sounds reasonable, um Costa. If you can sustain that and, and be okay on that then then that sounds reasonable to me. Hopefully it works out for you, okay. Yeah, it's a lot better than nothing. Money, the entire reason. This is this is very true, Z. Yes, it's down to money. Oh, did you get modded again? I haven't changed the settings, so whatever it was you said... So you miss a sentence in between. Right. Please don't just uh, ruin my internet, though, uh, Costa. <laughs> don't kill me again from remotely. Safe oh, wasn't ADHD. That one looks all right. That's come through. It's another 48 hex weave cloth. 
Let's get another load going. There we go. Yeah, don't type kill, please. <laughs> Are you off uh, Prisro? Well, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And hope to see you again soon. Have a great evening. <laughs> Don't, won't do that one again. You too. Thank you ever so much for stopping by the stream. Um, that's done and that's done. So how much hex we have we got? 122 total, so we can make another bag. There we go. Oh, the mod bot has it for you too. Oh, okay. Imagine the money lost in the pharmacy industry alone. Yeah, that's true. Oh, thank you very much, Prisha. It's very kind of you to say so. But now, after 30 years, three years from the verdict is there. Yeah, at least you got that, haven't you? Um, right, we're not going to do any more um, garrison stuff tonight. I'm not going to do any more flying progression either. So let's hearth back and do a enchanting cancel scan. Oh, right, so you don't produce it, so you need it supplemented. Well, that, that's, that's knowledge, isn't it, I guess? Yeah, has it in for the both of you? It does, it does he? That's because you two are my, my you're my um, biggest chatters, perhaps. I didn't realise that, so it produces a lot, um, a lot less. How do I get my Sorcerous Earth Seahorse? I buy it, mainly. If I can find it cheap on the auction house, I'll buy it up. Yeah. If it did that need to take so many years, uh, a doctor that went to school in Turkey? No. Yeah, that's the thing, is you, it really shouldn't have done. But things do get missed, don't they? Which is a real shame. People are very quick to write a lot of stuff off. Uh, let's sell my junk. And... You get triggered just by the word doctor. <laughs> yeah. Watch your back. Not a fan, no. I can imagine. What was I doing? Cancel scans. That's what I was doing. Of my enchants. Auctioning. Deselect all. Major sellers. Cancel scan. There we go. You sleep average six hours per day. When you're younger, it took hours for you to fall asleep. ADHD, that was the yeah. Not such an issue here. Uh, the sleeping sort makes you get very... Uh, Disorganised. The not sleeping, yes, makes you get very disorganised. Yeah, I can imagine. Thirty-seven to cancel. You're always short. On sleep, I take it you mean seahorse. that done. Let's try that again. Final castle scan. Look what happens to your body when you sleep. You see very quickly um, how fucked you are if you cannot sleep. Ah, I see. Yeah. Put you on all sorts of things. You're always like, no thanks. It does mess you up even more in like, the meds. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, hey Tony too, how are you? You fall asleep every night listening to audiobooks. That's pretty nice. I don't tend to do that. So 
but my bank is organised for people with ADHDs. <laughs> um, it's kind of organised. Um, so it's never managed properly until this... Oh, missed everything. Hold on, there we go. I decided it was enough. Uh, makes you just tired and moody. You fall asleep to Sam's voice. <laughs> oh, thank you, Custom. <laughs> Um, you drink coffee as much as you like and then fall asleep anywhere or everywhere. Yet the mod bots are both nuts over silly stuff. Yeah, it is, it is a bit weird, isn't it? You diagnose yourself uh, too. Never went to a doc or anything. Uh, your parents always thought there was something, but they never acted. Not 100% sure. But there are many signs, okay. Yeah, I think if you th think you've at least got an, an inkling, then you could at least give yourself the um, the same broad spectrum of uh, things that people would do with that knowledge and see if that works for you. So you're on 15 minutes of melatonin. Ah, oh, right, okay. Stop eating so much candy. That makes you fall asleep, uh, but you wake up after three or four hours. Should eat more protein and way less more sugar, that's true. Fifteen minutes. I've got no idea whether that's a lot or or not, um, Costa, but I'm assuming it's well it's what you need, so and then what's works works for you, so that's that must be the the right thing. I remember falling asleep on a doormat whilst hanging with the cat one day. <laughs> That's pretty neat point, you know. Uh, the over-the-counter is too low a dose. Ah, oh, right. A lot of uh, medical risks. <laughs> hey, Quinn Allman. How are you? It's more than average. Okay. Best way to make you sleepy is the constant sound of uh, disenchanting and your dog snoring. <laughs> That's brilliant, Rasheen. You went up slowly. Yeah, I think that sounds like probably a safest approach when introducing anything, definitely. Um, do that, select all, do, no, select all, and deselect that, and run a post scan. There we go. Your son and your wife need, uh, both need it too. All three of us have it. Well, at least it's something you know on top. Purr and cat on top of my head. Yeah, my cat's fast asleep at the moment. She's not... Uh, I've not had a... Uh, they don't sleep on my head though, uh, my cats. Cookie likes to come up and sleep at the foot of the bed. That's about what she does. Chaos is a normal state. Well, that's the thing, Horanus. And then you, you know, you know what's normal for your family, and that's how it works. Uh, did I create my own TSN groups, or did I use someone else's? I imported my no. <laughs> that's a double answer. I imported my own. <laughs> Quickly, yes. That's what I did. I made my own slowly over time. Um, so basically, as I learned something new, I started incorporating it into my groups. Um, I started off with you know the the simplest of things um, with enchanting, and then I just made it bigger and bigger from there. Um, I highly recommend it. With the cash register sound every now and again, yeah. Yeah, the cash register sound definitely gets my gets my interest every time. I couldn't imagine life without it. Right, I haven't done all my shopping, so we need to go and do that. Hey, Badge Hunter, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. How are you doing this fine evening? Um, I want to buy inscription bags with triple capacity. Yeah, triple capacity would be nice. Um, I stay away from transport for the most part. Yes, I do. Um, I've got a group, um, where is it, where I throw in 
all the stuff that I pick up over time, like if I've gone into a dungeon and picked up something randomly and I've called it Old World Drops Region Average, and that's literally all the all the random stuff that I tend to buy uh, tend to find that I'm not sure what to do with, I throw into that. Because yeah, transmog for me, especially I found on this server, this is quite a slow moving server, so um, transmog isn't a great seller for me. Oh, what were we saying about Borean leather earlier? Was it Borean leather that was cheap? 42 silver. Still trying to get through your four professions, just cancel relists. So much chatter here. Yeah. I know, because it, it just does take a little while. I mean, it was. Uh, Transmog was one of those things I. One of the first things I tried. Um, but I, I quickly, I quickly um, steered away from it and went to enchanting because it got much quicker turnarounds. I guess I'll buy these ones for one gold as well, the fifty. But this is more fun then. Yes, it definitely is, uh, Hieronymus. Um, should I leave that one? No, I'm going to leave that. And then everything else. I mean, this is all at fifty-three percent. How much Borean leather would I use? I've got 1,700 total. My average purchase price is 2 gold 27. Um, so I'm going to buy that, this lot of 300. I think. be traded into arctic fur via heavy Ooh. well that's good because arctic fur is currently at 23 gold and the region market is normally 167 oh you both both said the same thing at the same time so we definitely want borean is what we want really so let's keep buying it See, I've still not fully got my head around everything that's uh, even faster. <laughs> yeah, Rasheen's on the, on the case. Or well, you both are, to be honest. Because you slept all day. So you never have enough of it. Right, okay, well, what we'll do then is we'll buy... I'm going to leave these two smaller ones on and try and help people post lower than that. This arctic fur, my average buy price, um, you sleep about 15 hours, wow, that's a lot. Ooh, storm scale's cheap. I'll take the storm scale. There's loads of storm scale on. Uh, one of thirty. Um, Be also on the other side of the spectrum. Uh, Ritalin wasn't the drug for you. Uh, need around two thousand laystone to level back to to eight thousand eight hundred. You mean that shouldn't take two? You have eighty one. Oh, okay. That's quite a lot then. Pointing them, isn't it? I am right in thinking you can make um, braces for disenchanting with storm scale. It's the same as stone hide, isn't it? Before I buy all this up, I think it's the partner to stone hide. Yes, you can. Okay, thank you, Rishin. So this storm scale being at four gold, un anything under five is really good. But you don't. As in, I don't. I don't have th have the thing yet. You use it for other gear pieces. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to buy some up then, anyway. So it's probably better to use this for other things. Well, what we'll do then is we'll buy some. And we can work out what we're going to do with it later. Now these two walls, 
are up. Let's break those down a little bit. Let's take the 85 down. Another item you never have enough of. Okay, well that's reason enough for me to buy some up then. I shall heed your advice, for sure. Till anything up to five, right. Okay. Advice taken and digested. You're leveling mining and engineering whilst you level an alt. You find it fun. Oh, nice to your head. Your ancestry took you back to England too. Oh. It opens up so many connections because the records are so good. That's pretty cool. Blissfire. Where are you from now? If you don't mind me asking. Alright, keep one on. Okay, home safe. Excellent, Grace. Well, that's cool. Um, non wow question. Um, you've been doing your family ancestry and it's taking you to the UK. Is Deddington, Oxfordshire, near London? Deddington? I know Oxfordshire is kind of outside of London. It's not. It's kind of. Kind of. Yeah. I would say it's kind of by, by UK standards, Oxfordshire is quite close to London. Oh, and you're in Canada. Okay, bless her. Excellent. A little south of Birmingham. I mean, Oxfordshire is a fairly large county, isn't it? You quit all meds because the rebound was too much. That's fair enough, uh, Hieronymus. Just checking I haven't missed any chat. Uh... Oh, sorry, Grace, I must have missed your um, question from earlier. I see. There we go. There we go. Been quite fun starting to learn more about it. Yeah, I bet it has. Split dose of concerta. Hmm. Yeah. Um, my my wife is really really into looking at um, all the ancestry things. She's she's an amazing researcher. Haunting spirit. For a hundred gold. We've got some. Jumongous scales. We've got some. Your son's on the new metal something? For him. Okay. Brilliant. Who needs a cat purring to fall asleep in a Saradan's mouse wheel? <laughs> That's true. It is. It's kind of it's kind of noisy, isn't it? Uh, magnificent hides at 178. Going to skip that one, I think. That's what you now finally got. Ah, oh, right. Chaos is down to 176. How's Laylight and Arcana looking? After 32 years, yeah, that, that's a long wait. Um, Arcana's 1592 and Laylight's 47, so no to those. How's the temporal crystal situation looking? Luminous shards are at 15 gold. And there's no temporal crystal anythings. Luna shards purchase for seven gold. So I've only got eighty four left. Oh, that's the uh, that's the brand's name, right? Okay.
and you rebound three times a day, exhausting to the bone, never any interest in food. That sounds, that sounds terrible, yeah. It's short working, methylithing thing. And concerto is the other version. All right. Learning more and more. Just misspelling works. Ah, right. I see what you mean. That must be the word that the um, my my chatbot doesn't like does like the doesn't like the correct word. Now I'm with you, I can guess the gaps between. Volatiles, chaos orbs, all looking quite pricey. Walls or drain or bits. Let's have a look. 78 silver for Starflower. 60 silver for Nagrand, our arrow bloom. How much have we got at the moment? Let's pick up four lots of 20. One lot of 25. And one lot of 200. And the star flower. We can pick up 180 and 200 and I'm going to take the 83 oh the other word is speed, right okay and cloth Oh, so it actually has the opposite effect. Interesting. So it just has a completely different effect on the brain. Thing I want on there. Let's look at cooking next. Oh, that doesn't sound good, Hieronymus. Whatever is needed so you can sleep normally. Find whatever, find whatever works for you, isn't it? Last resort. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, slice of bacon's thirty-one gold. That seems cheap. I've only got a hundred of them as well. Well, five hours, yeah, definitely sounds better, doesn't it? Better than none, as Rasheem was saying earlier. Okay, lots of cheap bacon. So this must be because the world quest has been out or something. Ooh, binding of intellects just sold. So I definitely want to be buying some of this bacon up. I'm going to buy the 10. I'm going to leave the 3. I'm going to pick the 13. I'm going to buy the 2 of 5. The 4 of 5. That ain't cheap. Seems cheap to me, Costa. My average purchase price is 44. Under 30 is cheap. Well, I reckon... I reckon this is definitely cheap for me. Because I need to get my Mac cost down anyway. So... You was the same. Um, once I've gotten some more though, I'm not going to get too many, I've got 154, so I'm not going to take anything. Now you have 10 fridges full of bacon. Yeah, I don't think I'm in danger of getting to that point. 
But remember that trick of leaving one auction for the price you like to pay. Encourage more undercuts. Yes, it's a really good technique, um, Bliss. You just gotta, just gotta keep find a lower one and just leave it on. Buy up some of these, and I'll leave it at that. I think I'm not going to go any more. Foxflower's looking quite good, but I've got loads of that. Lean shank, I've got loads of wildfowl eggs. I'm using now. You buy it all. You want the price to go high? Yeah, I guess if you're going to put some of your own on, then definitely. Love this new guy resetting bindings. He's resetting the prices for you whilst constantly buying as many low price bindings as you put on the auction house to protect his reset. <laughs> Certainly not me, Rasheen. 19 silver for wildfowl eggs. That's cheap. I'll buy some and I'll buy those. And I'll buy the hundred. And then I'm going to leave the twos. And then I'll buy the 10 and then the 21. And that's that. Oh, black barracuda's down. Oh, I've got 2,000 of that. Tried to keep my cooking at about 2,000. That's um, cheap. I've only got 517. So let's see if we can pick some up. Fjorn Skaggle. Bindings, I think it's the in the enchants you mean, isn't it, Rasheen? The bindings of strength, mastery, and critical strike. All those enchants, I'm assuming you mean. Uh, I don't want to go too crazy with these because they're quite expensive per item. The blood needing ones, yeah. Yeah, the, the ones that need the blood, so is. is uh, Is a bit tricky. How many am I up to? Six, eight, three. That should probably be enough. How's the storm ray doing? That's getting a little low. I want to pick some of that up because I do do the storm ray. Fourteen of twenty is worth buying. He thinks you're limited on bloods. <laughs> uh, how little does he know the volumes you you have? I've been my blood's been going up quite a lot at the moment. Quite pleased with that. Um, one thousand four hundred. Let's go up a little bit more. Yeah, it could that could so easily be me as well, uh, executioner. Rune scales fine. Black barracudas fine. Okay, we're, we're okay on those. Moskill, we could possibly do with a few more. How are we at? Um, two gold. So anything under two gold, I'll take the two lots of 200. And that gives me 1,900. So then I'll take the 31 and leave the rest. You bought for like 4,000 in leatherworking mats. Wow, that's loads. You got lots of times to profit whilst you're offline. You just like messing with them. <laughs> uh, I don't think I could cope if I was on your server, uh, Rasheen. I'll just fall for it, hook, line and sinker every time. Ooh, gem tips are low. You might have to buy some more. Slightly higher. I know they're at 107, but they are low. What could I really do with doing them? Anything under two gold, certainly. So I'm going to take the 200 and the 6 of 20. Just want to know how they react and what their limit is. I guess then you can get an idea of them, can't you? Oops, didn't mean to buy that one. I well, might as well, whilst I'm here, because I do use the gem chips up. So we'll take those, and then we'll leave 
leave the little mini wall of 55 up and we'll leave that one of nine up just check we're not running low on too much big gamey ribs dream leaf starlight rose and these are all getting expensive anyway so i'll leave those all right let's go pick all that stuff up all strange items fell scales dragon scales and murloc stuff well if you need the obscure stuff, you need the obscure stuff. Okay, let's open all these up. If they get more aggressive, uh, you know what their limits are, yeah. Because you know they're starting to get to the end of it. Alright, I'm going to collect up all this stuff. I'm just going to let the... Um, let that run through. Actually, I'm going to quick, take a quick bio break and then I'll be back. Right, we're back. Let me just check up on uh, check up on chat. Uh, da -da -da. There we go. Still don't have TSM four beta. Oh, hopefully it'll come through soon, um, Hisham. Uh, no waiting stream today, but cookie time. Yeah, I thought I'd keep the camera on because she was around. Or off your server if they're being douchebags personally. That's thing. That's fair enough, Rasheen. Don't mind competition, it's much more fun than without. Like, what would you have to do to get on your radar? People posting for 110% crafting cost. <laughs> yeah, that's a... That's a tricky one. When no one else is posting for that. That would definitely be a problem. I want your profits, yeah, definitely. Me too, Executioner. Alright, gonna let this last one do. The one that asked you um, where you was, because um, you were a week offline. When he came out, he asked you where I was and said, and asked me, he replied, good. Oh. Well, that's a bit mean. That's very mean, in fact. I don't like that. That is a douchebag. Yeah, definitely a completely different uh, level. Right, that's collected up. Let's go drop some of that off in the bank. So asking uh, his viewers on his streams for pet and mount donations for his giveaways on stream whilst he had millions of gold. 
Oh. See, there's no need for that. You know, people... If people want to be generous with their own time and money, then that's totally up to them. Certainly no need to resort to that. Right, I'm going to move these off because I want to put some more bear tartar on and clear the guild bank. So with that off, I can take these out. And all those. Come on, there we go. So that's two. Um, that's two cases. Yeah, I'd, I'd rank those up pretty highly myself, uh, Rasheen. Or well, we can post those. We don't want to uh, get rid of those. Uh, that one. Oh, let's do them all. Whilst we're here. How's everything? Looks a few spots in there. Probably, actually. That's probably enough bear tartar for now. Okay, let's go back. We need to post to Earthen all the leather. Oh, actually the bear tartar will be in the post group as well. So let's do this the right way round. Let's post on the bear tartar first. As we've got some um, auctioning post scan. Since I'm not going to swap over to Earthen tonight. And get these done. So, so my current price is no one else selling bear tartar. So we really need to get those on. There we are. And is that was that all of them? No, we've still got some left. So the rest I'll post to Earthen. Let's go around here. Do this one. But Drums of Fury. They might have sold. Uh, oh, two critical strikes. We can pick those up. And then mail those. That should get rid of those. There we go. And the third one apologised, so he's fine. Just had a bad day when he first approached me. We talk every now and again. Well, that's fair enough, Rasheen. You know, even if someone does something that's a bit, you know, not so great and they if they um recognize their mistake and at least have the guts to say it and then do something about it uh, how do you deal with idiots who post glyphs under crafting costs repeatedly find out why your crafting cost is high that's a good and are they under okay geoherb thanks ever so much for sticking by tonight um have a great evening and i hope to see you again soon I used to get those crafts, uh, but you know, some scribes buy them out to repost. Make enough gold and the rest of scribing to take the loss and not care. That's right, Samadan bot. What was that? I didn't see my Samadan bot. What's the name of the bag add-on? It's called Addy Bags. Um, you meant Samadan, not Samadan Bot. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was thinking for a minute then, my bot is, um, oh, there you go, Geo, Geoheb's got it. Thank you, Autofill. <laughs> That's brilliant. Geoheb's got you there, um, Pikena. Um, it's called Addy Bags. It's really good. It's really nice for organising things when you're not organised like me. Okay, Cossack's um, convinced me that I'll do a quick earthen check before we log off. So um, we'll swap over to earthen. Check on our drums of fury. It's just that the um, load times are so slow for me now. It can get a bit of a pain. Oh, 
hopefully it's not too slow. Show him some love. Yes, poor Irfan doesn't get doesn't get um, gets put on the back bench a fair amount because I just play with Samadan. They either ignored you or didn't see that. Oh, what was that, uh, Jack? Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> I didn't see it. Um, I never make mistakes. <laughs> That's funny, Jack. But you did, yep. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw it now, Jack. That's funny. Yeah, just make sure I've caught up and everything. Just looking at Oreo stretching out over in the corner. Both cats fast asleep. Ten points for Hieronymus, definitely. Top observation. Right, how are you doing, Erfin? We have the Bear Tartar and a load of expires. So we need to collect up all of this lot. Any sales? No actual sales. His bags are looking healthy. Oh, we've got the hex weave bags now. Uh, min buyouts 2287. If you get 100 points, and Sam gives my cat away. I'll never, Jack. You're on Twitch so many years, your brain needs words, reads words, how they should be spelled, not how they're actually written. Yes, you end up filling the blanks. Very handy when you receive late night texts on drunk hexes. <laughs> yeah, I bet it is. You'd rather have a dog. Yeah, dogs are lovely. Dogs and cats and chickens. They're all good. But yeah, the human brain can, can um, fill the gaps quite well. <laughs> hey Uzova, um, I am a, well I guess I'd call myself a visual effects artist, a CG artist, so I basically uh, make computer graphics, is the, uh, the simple way of things I do for a living. You can spell horrendous and it still makes sense, yeah that's true. Oh, look at all this bear tartar. There we go. Uh, bags. Now, what we want to do is move all of the consumer bulls in one go. Um, so we'll right click that. And it all goes across in one. Except we didn't want the drums. And that's everything. Bear Tartar for day, yep. If you ever need Bear Tartar, come see Irfan. Oh, that's that as well. Stonehide Leather Barding, we needed that. It's so sad you can't stack it here. Yeah, definitely, Jack. Look at, look at all this space that it's taking up. Yep, the drums have gone through. I basically did... This was something... Um, who is it? This Asakura was telling, showing me the other day. So when you've got Addy bags open, if you if you right click a category, it will put that category all in one in one go. So it shows you there in the tooltip um, when you've got the um, bank open at the same time. If I right click on armor, then all the armor goes in in one go. Obviously, my bag's full now. So I just need to reset the position of those and then right click on that um, 
There we go. Uh, should I be able to put those back? Right click to move those items and they all come back in. Have a good one. Oh, oh, there we go. Hold on. Oh, thank you, um, Red Nine One Hundred and Fifty, for the follow. Very kind of you. Let me just see if I can. Don't forget to turn the fridge on. <laughs> yeah, or it goes bad. Yeah, can you imagine that? Um, go to settings of Addy Bags items. Okay, and press merge stackable unstackable items. Yes, I did have that on Pointy Gnome for quite a while when I first used Addy Bags, but I didn't like it because I would like to be able to see how many slots are being used up in my bags. Um, so I turned it off. But yeah, that's a good feature that if you like to have everything compact. Yeah, I do like Addy Bags. It's really nice. There's a lot to it I still haven't learned as well. Um, so, we'll do a post scan of what we've got. And then the rest will definitely need to go on. Um, how many drums have we got? Well, Earthen's got 72, so we didn't sell any. Now, the Hexy bags are actually going on for 2,285. But because I bought them for 2300 I don't want to sell those, so I need to remember to take those off. So I just have to look out for it up here. Um, post those. Inscription bag. Now those will skip. And the rest will post. There we go. You made a new rule for yourself. What's that, Costa? Move that back. Oh, I have to reset position again. You can only list 300 items per crafter and only make the most expensive one of the day. All right, that's fair enough. I can't move this, unfortunately. Come on. I have to reset that until you're under the 300 again. So, is that basically to cut down the amount of time you're spending doing stuff? Do daily cooldowns on Earth and then we're done. Yeah, time time can be an issue, definitely. Yeah, you can spend a lot of time uh, doing that kind of thing. Just wait for the leather working to come out. Uh, you're just starting to play the auction house. Do I have any tips? Um, my tips are to take it slowly, uh, learn as you go, and f first and foremost, make sure you have fun who's over. A sheer amount of walking up and down. Yeah, that's true. And always check the Undermine Journal for your own server. That's a good one. I don't really, I haven't really gotten into the habit of checking the Undermine Journal now, um, especially as I, I won that um, premium. I want to give it a proper, proper look through this weekend. Oh, you're at two twenty uh, points, you know. That's a bit more. Um, daily cooldowns. Burnished leather. Create. You have eight thousand plus auctions post every day if you don't get round to post before you before rush hour in auction house you messed up never believe people streaming <laughs> if they have a phone app for the undermine journal I don't know um, who's over I think you'd probably have to have a look um, 
You'd obviously be able to do it with the um, just using a website anyway. You have a, a hundred on Alonsus and fifteen hundred on main server. Magnificence of scales we can do one of. Let's do one of those. Get something new. What did we get? Linked gauntlets. Dreadful linked gauntlets. Dreadful linked gauntlets. Uh, yep, we'll give them a go. It works fine on the phone, does it? Okay, good to know. And the hardened for the new item. That's that whole spirit of war thing as well. I'm actually going to leave that for now until I've I had another proper look at that. I'm going to leave that. Yeah, just a, just a few things. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to add that to the group of leatherworking. Gladiators leatherworking. Uh, that one. Add that one on. There we go. Jump into the auction house. Run a post scan. Oh, the hex we bags need to skip again. That's going to catch me out one of these days. Unless I buy all the cheap ones. Um, skip. And then post. Right, okay. I think that's everything. Your first sentence would not answer the question. Okay. <laughs> Who's your scribe? Your scribe's not on Kazakh. But you make everything you can there. No worries. I think Z, uh, Z's got it more than I have. Oh, ran right before me. Right, okay. So that was an awesome stream. Thank you everyone for stopping by and making it great. Um, thank you all for, you know, the uh, the cheers tonight. That was amazing. And the follows, welcome on board. Um, thank you everyone for hanging out tonight. It was a pleasure having you all. Um, I am on again tomorrow, but I'm not as sure exactly when, so it might be a little bit of a ad hoc session tomorrow. Um, now we do have a choice of people to host. Um, I can see Sharkens on. We've got um, the the new person I posted the other uh, hosted the other day, Mr. Grumpy Face is on, or Dragons After Dark is on. If there's any particular people you'd like me to host, shout out in chat, or I'll just pick one ran randomly. Do grumpy again, okay? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get the chance to um, hang out in his stream, uh, but uh, he does seem like a nice, nice fellow. Good night. Uh, thank you, Furry Lemons, uh, for stopping by. You're more than welcome. So thank you all. Yeah, dragons could do um, a, do with a boost. Um, yeah, the, um, Mr. Grumpy does um, he does farming mainly, and does TSM. Basically, he's horde side, and does that's his main. His main thing is doing farming for items. That's what he enjoys doing. And Dragons After Dark is again sort of just like a nice chill streamer as well. I tend to go for the, the chill ones. So uh, I'm happy with either. So 
I think I'll pick one randomly. Um, I'll go with uh, Dragons After Dark because she's on the lower numbers of the two. Hey, Extoria, doing very well, thank you. I am literally just about to um, end the stream, but uh, thanks for stopping in right at the end. I'm just going to throw a host over to Dragons After Dark. So big thank you. I'll ignore that one, Seahorse. <laughs> Um, big thank you everyone for um, stopping by tonight and I'll hopefully see you tomorrow or some other point in the um, thought you finally caught one yeah you just caught the end of one unfortunately Exoria but um, we'll have to catch catch again soon um, see me next time yes absolutely so I'm going to throw a host over to Dragons After Dark let me just roll roll the advert Mute that one. There we go. Oh, thank you, Asbestos. Thank you all. Um, have a great evening, and I'll see you again very soon. All right, let's do this host. Slash host. Right, there we go. Okay, host going over. Thank you all. Good night and farewell. Uh, there we go.